right. So we're going to do a flight today, tonight, in my Airbus A320 NEO. And we're going to be flying out of Birmingham, Alabama. And we're going to go to Atlanta. I'm just pulling up my uh, Twitch chat so I can see anything that's posted. All right. So we've been flying out of the wrong runway, so we're going to uh, depart from runway six. And we're going to land runway nine. We're going to fly IFR uh, low altitude, which is going to put us at 5,000 feet. Normally, you would want to fly higher <clears throat> on this flight, maybe at about 10,000. But I like to see the um, I like to see you know the ground below me. Thought you were cutting grass. I'm gonna cut grass later. I've been wanting to do this flight from Birmingham to Atlanta, and I was having problems with my flight simulator and had to re-download this 200 and something gigabyte game. So yeah, um, <clears throat> it's a pretty realistic uh, game though. Um, this is true to life what a what it would be like to fly um, an airplane if uh, if you're on a two-hour flight in real life that's how long it would take on this same runways and everything all right so we're actually gonna have to fly at night which is going to make it a little bit more challenging. Why don't I become a pilot? Well, I've always wanted to, and um, who knows, I one day might. Alright, so I'm just going to kind of talk you through what I'm doing right now. Um, if you can see my mouse pointer, down here is the GPS. So it's going to be a, a very direct flight. We're going to fly exactly east, um, and we won't have to turn the plane at all. The, the runways, once we get in the air, are going to line up with each other. So really, we're just going to be man managing our altitude. Um, it's going to be a very easy flight. Um, so yeah, we're going to engage our throttle um, to 100%. Disengage our parking brake. When you ascend, you want to stay even with the runway in case you have an emergency. We're raising our landing gear. Alright, we're reducing our speed down and retracting our flaps. Believe. Our airspeed is going to be 250. 
but we're going to get up to 5,000 feet. And uh, in real life, when you're when you're flying, this is your view. You can't obviously hit select and look around to see, you know. Normally you would uh, you would still be ascending here uh, to get to your cruising altitude, but like I said, we're just going to cruise at about 5,000 feet. It's pretty safe um, in this part of the world or the United States. There's not a lot that will be up 5,000 feet in the air. Uh, another reason why you will want to listen to air traffic control and I have it muted because I don't like listening to them. Uh, they tell you what altitude to fly. So if they say um, to ascend to 10,000 feet, they want you there because they want to make sure that all the other planes are flying at the correct levels. Because if I'm flying at 5,000 feet going from Birmingham to Atlanta and a plane's coming from Atlanta to Birmingham at exactly 5,000 feet, they're going to have the same course on their uh, navigation basically the same flight pattern and we would crash into each other um, but with this being a simulator and not real um, it's another reason why I'm not really worried about it not to mention once you do get up to 10,000 feet you have to start descending at a certain time to get um, to be able to safely land um, but this could be pretty boring of a flight so hopefully we can get some activity in the chat or questions So if you hear them in the background right now, they're saying to expedite our climb to 11,000 feet. So they want us pretty high in the air, but I'm not going to do that. scheme of things we we're not really that far um, on the VFR map here if you see Dega with two A's that's actually tall Dega um, it's a waypoint for us uh, this is KANB is Aniston um, I don't remember what these are now look at all this air traffic over here in it once you get to Atlanta and these are all flights that are on the sim right now. Be, uh, hard to see but we're actually flying over Pell City right now Thank you. 
I've actually done this flight several times, but I haven't played the flight sim in like three or four months. Um, so we're actually flying over Lincoln right now. To the left, I believe, is the Honda plant. We will be flying over my house pretty soon. What we're about to come up on is up here on the right with all the lights. I'll point to it. That's the Talladega Super Speedway. It actually used to be Aniston Air Force Base. I've seen some pretty big uh, planes land there during race traffic time. Or during race weekends. Which one's coming up in like April? I don't believe that. Yeah, it, it used to be a uh, Air Force Base, Anderson Air Force Base. Everything in this area used to be military. The powder buildings in Talladega were military. If I'm not mistaken, what we're the road we're flying over right now is I-20. Pretty sure it is. It's kind of funny, you know. I-20 goes right to Atlanta. It just veers around. Yes, they have Fort McClellan as well. I don't really know the history of it. Um, we're actually about to be flying over Oxford, so that's about how quick these flights are. Uh, we've flown from Birmingham, Pale City, Oxford, or uh, Lincoln, and now we're about to fly over Anniston, um, Oxford. So this airport that you see here, Anniston RGNL, Anniston Regional, five nautical miles. That's the airport right at, as you get into Oxford on Highway 21. I gotta drive over 50 hours. Well, that's gonna suck, but it'll be worth it once you get back. We're excited. In the daytime, you can see the mall, but it's not well lit at night. But it's up here at this intersection where all of this junk is. That would be the mall. And then this one over here, I believe, would be the exchange, if, I, if I'm looking at the earth correctly. Or the exchange probably is actually over here. Kind of looks like a, a baseball field. So I guess that would be, yeah, there's baseball fields. So that would be the Oxford Airport. Um, um, that is, I don't even know what that is. Hmm. <laughs> what are you trying to get there? Because she ain't getting nothing there. Oh. 
Yeah, we're supposed to be at 11,100 feet. Uh, when we finish this flight, is there any flight or area that you would like to see? Maybe we don't have to do the whole flight, but I can go to any airport in the world. I flew out of New York City the other day. It was pretty fun. I'm about to get on Fortnite. I'll probably hop on some Fortnite after a while and stream. Amirillo? Well, I assume there's an airport there. I mean, Talladega and Oxford are, and Pell City are small airports, and they're on here, so I'm sure it would be on there. In fact, I could do a flight from Birmingham, or, or Talladega for that matter, to Armour, Armourillo and see how long it would take. It would be less than 50 hours for sure. I have a jet fighter and I could do this flight with it in about maybe 10 minutes. But it doesn't have autopilot features so you have to kind of control the whole plane. So she had to go look on her page. So, I mean, so. That, that girl is just. <clears throat> she deserves every bad thing that happens. And I don't, I'm not saying I'll leave something bad to happen. I don't just agree with that. Whatever bad happens to her. Are those stickers of you, Tyler? Well, I'm having to drive to Alabama, drop Maddie off, pick up the trailer, and drive back the next morning, and then drive all the way back 15 or so hours each way. There's got to be a better way than driving all the way to Alabama to get the trailer than driving all the way to the back. It's in the Discord. Or in the um, chat. No, that's not neat. You should, you should just get the U-Haul. You can rent a trailer from a U-Haul. Yeah, it costs a little bit more, but that would be way better than driving all the way from Texas and back twice. It might break down. It's a lot of gas. No. What do you need to wash? Huh? Uh, Can't pull on Ford Explorer. We tried. Um, well, a U-Haul, you can... I need to a U-Haul, you can uh, rent a trailer and carry your car. But it's more dangerous, and if you don't know how to do it, you might wreck, and then it would be better to just drive. Let's check our VFR map and see So Birmingham's here, Degas here. I would go as far as saying we're about halfway now. The white line is when we begin our approach and descent. So we'll hit one more waypoint probably before we start descending. Where are we going to put the kids in that U-Haul? Um, Maddie could drive the U-Haul. Maddie could drive the car with the kids and you follow in the U-Haul. Huh. 
Well, when we moved to Foley, I, I hauled my company vehicle in the U-Haul, and then Mel followed in her car with the kids. One trip. LMAO, no, Maddie. Well, the beach driving 30 hours. I'm craving some sugar-free vanilla ice cream right now. Yeah, I agree, Maddie. You can make the drive. Say 15 hours of driving. Dark, dark boy. It is dark. We're flying at 5,000 feet. Air traffic control wants us to be at 1,100 feet and then descend to 7,000 feet at the next waypoint. It's cheaper just to make the two trips. U-Haul came out to 1,000 just to rent it, not including the gas on the way. Wow. Well, I would... That just sucks to make an extra trip just to get a trailer, though. It costs 400 to do it. Huh? Yeah, there was 400 of Holy in Texas Harlem, so. That would be miserable, though, to drive all the way to Alabama and then turn around and drive all the way back to Armillo, Texas and then turn around and drop all the way back. Either way, we're glad you're moving back from Texas. And can't wait to see you guys. Mason will be excited to see you play Fortnite in real life. I don't think y'all have seen us since, well, you came one time when we lived in Lincoln, right when we moved a year ago. said Lincoln, but you're right. I'm kind of, I'm kind of concerned because on my map at the top left, it has me going straight then making a left-hand turn. Um, but the runway looks to be straight. We'll find out what happens. What? You texted me? Have any text from you about going out to eat? Dad bought goals. I actually hit uh, 20 pounds loss today, which I didn't do a good job going to the gym last week while I was on PTO, and then I had a stomach bug yesterday. But hopefully this week I get back into the groove of it.
yesterday when we were texting back and forth and you quit responding. Well, way to put me on blast. Oh, you did say want to meet up with Dad and go out to eat. Hmm. Yes, we can definitely do that. Or grill at my house. Okay, so the GPS is straightened up. I, I don't know why it was doing that weird thing a second ago. <laughs> if you live in Coleman, we can't go together. But if you live anywhere close to Oxford, including Talladega, me, Tyler, and Bobby all go to Planet Fitness. And it's cheap. It's $10 a month for the standard and 20 for the for the higher membership. See, it wants us at 5,000 feet now to descend. But guess what, boys and girls? We're already at 5,000 feet. And I believe you can kind of see the runway from here. If you get the $20 membership, you will be able to go to the Coleman Planet Fitness and you can go to any Planet Fitness in America with your $20 membership. So I would do that. Yeah, get the black card, the massage too. But that way, if you're ever in town, you can go with us. Uh, Tyler, are you still in the chat? Because we're about to find out on this A320 if you just, uh, if you have to put on, um, approach mode. It's adjusting the airspeed automatically, but the altitude is still the same. Approach mode and autopilot. Okay. Tower on one one nine decibel tree HFYB of ninety two one nine nine too heavy. Atlanta Tower HFYB of ninety two one nine nine too heavy one three miles west inbound ILS runway nine left approach. Atlanta Tower HFYB. All right, guys, we're getting ready to make our landing. So this is the most dangerous part of any flight. In the glide scope. Um, it doesn't like our speed, but it's on auto throttle, so it's gonna have to just. Alright guys, 
Who's nervous? No, we're not going to speed it up. We're cleared to land. It's pretty scary. Five hundred. Four hundred. Four hundred. All right. We're three hundred. Three hundred feet. Can we make it? Two hundred. Here we go. 100, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, retire. Oh no. So, that would have been a perfect landing, guys. And I bump left trigger. That is very annoying. Um, hold on. Now, why can't we? All right, so everybody saw it was lined up perfectly. And then right when I went to touch down, man, okay. So what we're gonna do to compensate for that because that is, man, oh man, does that make me mad. All right, let's back out. All right, and then we're gonna go to the same runway. All right, we're gonna start off in Atlanta airspace. And, oh, that's New York City that, that's on this little graph here. Pretty little rainbow. Okay. Ooh, we may not be back far enough. Okay, all right, look, we got a repeat. What do you 
What are you doing? What are you doing, airplane? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you, what are you freaking doing there? Do y'all see this? Now, this is making me look like a fool. like we're lining back up. I mean to be fair I didn't crash the last time. I would have just had to do another flyby, get back in the entry pattern, and land again. I'm not doing that because of a controller error. Thursday we're going to have uh, severe storms and uh, based on when those are and what time I work, if I'm home before they come, I'm going to get on Twitch and stream my radar and give weather updates. Unless it's already over and done before I get home from work. Which probably will be. I don't remember my schedule. I'm probably closing Thursday. Oh yeah, it's going to be severe storms Thursday, and I don't know what's going to be from Texas over here, but I don't know, maybe Wednesday night I can give an update, but I prefer to see the live radar and talk about what we see. We did it guys, we landed safely. I don't know why it's not giving me um, the ability to request a a taxi. Oh, now it tells me once I've already
What is this plane doing? I'm, my parking brake's not on. I don't know, it won't, um, it must be a glitch because it's not letting me, I've got it to like 150 full throttle and it won't move. Oh well, we landed, that's all that matters. What do y'all want to see now? Fortnite, a little more simulator. I'm going to end this stream with the flight sim and I'll start another once I decide what game to play. I'll see y'all in a minute.